Hi, I'm Ian Fursa, head sound engineer here at Mapleview Studios, where we record anything from rock to rap. We just recently decided that we were going to need some sound blankets. So what I usually do when I need something is I go and check out the acoustic forums to see what people are saying about them. When I did this, I realized that somebody needs to compare these things. So we decided to do a review on them for you. So what I did is I lined up four of these blankets by price. I wanted to go over the different ones and just show you guys what the difference is. Right here we have a lightweight mover's blanket. It's pretty thin. Uh, it's, you can tell that the, it's reflective, so it's probably going to reflect sound, not absorb it as much as you'd really want to. Uh, this blanket right here goes for about $6. Right here we have a professional mover's blanket. Uh, it's a little bit more industrial, I'll call it. Uh, the, the surface is not as reflective, so it's going to absorb sound a little bit better. Uh, this goes for about 15 bucks. Now these blankets right here uh, are designed specifically for capturing sound and studio use and I mean, video and such. Right here is the producer's choice blanket. I can already tell by looking at it that it does not have a reflective surface. It has a, a woven uh, woven fabric so it's it's definitely going to uh, capture sound a little better and stop reverb uh, it has a good density to it also you can tell that between these different blankets these ones are meant to be hung up those ones are of course for moving uh, uh, this blanket goes for about 40 bucks on their website uh, this right here is the audio mute blanket first off you can tell that it's a little reflective uh, it is, of course, meant to be hung up. It, it has a nice density to it, so it's, it's a really well-made blanket. This guy goes for about $60. You can also tell that, probably not from the shot that we're at now, but these two are also longer. They're bigger, yet they are designed for uh, audio use. So one of the most important things about a sound blanket is its density. The way I wanted to show you that is by putting them on a scale. Now, the movers blankets that we initially looked at were a bit smaller, so I can't really compare them to the ones that are designed for sound. So I'm going to compare the audio mute blanket and the producer's choice blanket. The producer's choice blanket right here is 10.4 pounds. Now this is the audio mute blanket, 7.8 pounds. Noise reduction coefficient is a scale of 0 to 1 used to show how much sound a material absorbs. 0 being completely reflective and 1 being completely absorbent. So I compared the lab test results between the audio mute blanket and the producer's choice blanket. The producer's choice blanket was 0.8. The audio mute blanket was 0.7 which means that the producer's choice blanket was 10% more absorbent than the audio mute blanket. So after comparing the different blankets, I came to the conclusion that the producer's choice is probably going to be the best bang for the buck and you're going to get the most sound absorption out of it. 